go with Warden. Warden is pretty much like your basic Vanguard hero. So I would probably give him like your most common candy that you could possibly get. So honestly, what I would put Warden in as, I would put Warden in as a, like, he, it's very basic. So I would go with a basic Hershey bar. Like, it's nice that you get it. You're not, like, completely happy with it, but it does the job and it is, you know, the most abundant that you can find. Um, Conquer. So with Conquer, I would probably go with, I think someone said it earlier before that Conquer is a crunch bar. Like just, he's pretty good. He's not everyone's favorite. Some people, he doesn't get the job done. Um, but with the flail, definitely a crunch bar. Peacekeeper. I would say Peacekeeper is a gusher peacekeeper is definitely a gusher she just comes up and just explodes i would say 100 percent. just turning your kidneys into gushers 100 <laughs> percent law lawbringer i would say A gusher, like a pack of gushers, I would say. Um, Lawbringer. Lawbringer, he's a character that, like, some people love. But other people hate. Because they don't know, like, how the character works, so that's just not, like, their flavor. You know what I would give Lawbringer? I would give Lawbringer. I'm going to give him a Mr. Good bar. Like just chocolate with peanuts. It does everyone right. But some people like Reese's more because they like the peanut butter instead of the peanuts. And it's just very, very like, again, some people love them. Some people hate them. Some people want to change the flavor of it. But like, he's just, he's, he's just that. He's a Mr. Goodbar. Centurion. Centurion's very bold. He's very um just all up in your face. I would say Centurion is a Jolly Rancher. Centurion is just like that boom, punch in your fucking face. Holy shit, like all this flavor may be too much for you. And like a lot of people are like, ah. yeah. I would say a Jolly Rancher for a Centurion. So Gladiator is all about being flashy, loves your toes. I would give Gladiator, hmm. Yeah, I would, I would probably say a Tootsie Roll. Gladiator is a Tootsie Roll. I wouldn't say a Tootsie Pop. He turns you into a Tootsie Pop, but he's more like with his uh, execution where he like lifts you up and shit. But I would say he's like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, we did say this earlier. I would say Warmonger is a 100 grand bar. Like, it's, there's nothing really to hate about it. It's a decent candy. But you're not worth that much, bro. <laughs> My controversial take of this one. <laughs> Black Pryor. I would say going off of how Black Pryor is and everything, I wouldn't even say licorice there, Spruce. You know what I would give Black Pryor? I would give Black Pryor the candy cigarettes. Like, every kid has gone ahead and taken one of those candy cigarettes, popped one in their mouth, and just, like, you know, walked around as, like, the mean guy, like, the edgy guy who's, oh, yeah, I have a cigarette. Uh. I would say 100% Black Pryor is a candy cigarette. Ooh, Griffin. 
smack in your face flavor because of his uh, Legion kick. Same thing like with the Centurion kick. Is pretty decent. He is older. Hmm. I would say. Hmm. I would say because a lot of people pick him just because he's so good and he's all in your face flavor. And anyone who's probably like watch someone who's played Gladiator is probably go, what a fucking nerd. I would give him nerds. I would give him a nerd. Raider. Raider is pretty much a very iconic hero. Run up, smack you in the jaw with a fucking, with your knee. I would give Raider a jawbreaker. 100% a jawbreaker. Warlord is all about defense. He's kind of like a person where like if you like if you're wanting to play a lot of defense and you're relying on like your mechanics, you're probably going to play Warlord with the shield and sword. Ooh, I would say Hmm. You know what? I would give Warlord a Mike and Ike. Like, he has many flavors of, like, playing him. Not a lot of people like him, but it definitely gets the job done when you want some, like, fruity flavors. I would give him a Mike and Ike. He's just an Ike, no Mike. <laughs> I would say, so Berserker. Berserker is just very wild. Really, like, has a lot of potential in certain ways, but a lot of people don't know how to use them because of, like, not being able to, like, you have to faint to get into your mix-up kind of thing. Um... I would give Berserker because he just hits you with every, like he has many ways to hit you and you have to guess which way to hit him. I would give Berserker like the mystery flavored jelly beans. 100%. I would give him the mystery flavored jelly beans. Oh, Valk. So Valk, I would probably say, like, again, she's very defensive. She can be very spammy. Even the gross flavor jelly beans. Yeah, because, they're you know, it's like, which way is he going to hit you? And if you parry right, it's like, yes. And if they parry wrong, you're like, oh, fuck. That's what I would say. I would say what Valkyrie... Hmm. Maybe Ruth won't explain why, but if you know, you know. Hmm. <laughs> no, I would say I'm going to hold baby Ruth off to something else there, Spruce. Um, I would say definitely with like the sweeping off of your feet. Oh, man. I would probably say like, uh, nah, no, I wouldn't even say that. No. I would say like, I would say an Eminem, just very basic, not the best, but is just like, it's all right. All right. Highlander. I would give Highlander like, so a Highlander with his grab being able to switch from stance to stance. 
I would give Highlander. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know, man. You think a Kinder Egg? Nah. He's Sour Patch Kid. Yeah, I would say he's kind of Sour Patchy. Because some people like his sour side. Some people don't like the sour side and like more of the sweet side. So they stay in offensive stance. I would say that. Yeah. I would say sour sweet gone. Yeah. First he's sour and then he's sweet. Yeah. Uh, shaman. Ooh. Okay. So shaman is all about her bite being wild and crazy. But she is kind of like basic in her looks. I would give Shaman the Tootsie Pop. Nah, she's the Tootsie Pop. Because she's like one, two, three. 100 fucking percent she's a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> Ooh, Yorm. I would say Yorm is like with her Hammer Slam. Being just a displacement bully. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that, Spruce. I would probably say she's an Almond Joy. She only has one nut she wants to. She's coming for yours. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. Varangian. Ooh. Okay, so. Varangian just... All up in your face, just never relenting. I would give Varangian Guard Laffy Taffy. Just get stuck in your fucking teeth. You can't fucking chew it enough to fucking swallow it. Half the time, you're just like, ah, oh, fucking. You just, like, bite off a piece and you're just chew it for a little bit. And you're like, fuck, it's still not dissolving. You just swallow it fucking anyway. Just will not go the fuck away. I was for Kensei. Kensei is a very, again, another basic hero that we've had since the very beginning of the game. I would kind of give Kensei like, mm, nah, I wouldn't say a high chew. Basic bitch, but still good. Nah. Um, I would give Kensei. More of like a, um, hmm. yeah, eh, kind of, kind of a Milky Way feel to him. Yeah, I would kind of say a Milky Way. Like everyone enjoys a Milky Way. Like unless you're you don't like caramel and you're just like fuck caramel and that's like his side side dodge attack. <laughs> <laughs> Goki 100 fucking percent is a gummy bear 100 fucking percent are like Haribo gummy bears 100 <laughs> percent <laughs> Nobu Nobu with her bleed her kick just being all up in your face yet again, where everyone kind of likes her, kind of don't like her. Hmm. I would give Nobu. Hmm. You know what? I would say Nobu is probably. Oh, man. I don't even know what I would give Nobu.
I think I would give Nobu like Twizzlers. Just like it's an acquired taste. It's not like 100% great for a lot of people. Not a lot of people like red licorice people that do are fucking fanatics over it. Yeah, I would give her a Twizzler. Yeah, Twizzler. Orochi. Ooh. Okay, so Orochi is a very controversial one. Just because so many people like Orochi. And there are so many people that hate going up against Orochi. And I will say my most controversial thing ever. I am not in the Reese's camp. For me, I'm not a big fan of the whole chocolate peanut butter thing. Never have, never will. But I can eat it. But it's not my favorite. Like, it's one of those things where I'm like, eh, with it. I'm even more of like a dark chocolate person than milk chocolate. I don't like plain old milk chocolate. Like, when it comes to Hershey's by itself, not the biggest fan of Hershey. Like, not the biggest fan of just plain Hershey's. But Hershey's Special Dark? Hershey's Special Dark slaps like a motherfucker, bro. No, PBJ is dope there, Jack. What the fuck are you talking about? But I would give how many people love Orochi? I would give Orochi the Reese's. I would give him the Reese's just because of how popular he is with every, well, like with many people. And when you think of For Honor, a lot of people, like people that play For Honor, they just, it's either they love Orochi or they hate Orochi. There's no in between. Shinobi. I would say Shinobi is like a lot of people like Shinobi. A lot of people don't like him. He's had a lot of ups and downs with how he plays. Uh, first with like his range guard ability that he had originally. And now that his current mix up that he has. Hmm. I would probably give Shinobi... Hubba Bubba Gum. Like, he has flavor, but then he kind of loses it a lot. But then a lot of people just go ahead and just keep eating, like, more pieces of, like, Hubba Bubba. And just keep the flavor up. I would just keep eating, like, the way that Shinobi kind of relies on his kick a lot. So I would give him Hubba Bubba. I would give him Bubble Gum. Like, there are some people that are static when they get gum and they chew gum all the time, like gum fanatics, and other people are just like, the fuck did I get this for? I would say hubba bubba gum. Easy. Aramusha. Now, Aramusha, Aramusha, I would go ahead, I would give Aramusha the Twix. Like, double katanas... Choose your side left or right with his deadly feints. 100% a Twix guy. No doubt about it, Twix. Um, so we're going with Kyoshin. I would say with Kyoshin, just because he's, you know, his uh, full block being able to bleed and heal all at the same time. It would be a candy that would kind of... Like, you would enjoy, but it would also, like, rip your mouth open. I would give Kyoshin a Butterfinger. I would give Kyoshin a Butterfinger. Like, some people enjoy playing Kyoshin and it hurts them while, you know, healing you. I would give him a... I would give him that. Hito. I would give Hito... Hito. 
You know, I would give Hito Skittles. Because just during his heavies, it's, you know, red, 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 purple, green. Fuck, I missed. I got a yellow. Because I'm not a lemon guy. I'm 100%. I am in the camp of lime. I do not like lemon. I hate lemon. I am a lime guy all day. Should make you taste the rainbow and that rainbow bitch. Yep. So I would give Hito the Skittles. Now, Sohei there, Spruce. Sohei is the baby Ruth. 100 fucking percent Sohei is the baby Ruth. <laughs> he is the one that you use to prank people and be like, oh shit, someone shat in the pool. Yeah. I would say so a 100% is the baby Ruth. Easy. That's like the most easiest one I've had to worry about. Like, yep, baby Ruth. Tiandi. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Did I do shaman? I don't, I think I skipped over Shaman. Did I skip over Shaman? I think I skipped Shaman. What did I do say for Shaman? I don't remember what I said for Shaman. I don't remember. What did I say for Shaman? Fuck. I don't remember what I said. I don't remember. Oh, I said she was a Tootsie Pop. No, she's a Snickers. That's my bad. She's a Snickers. She's not her when she's hungry. But she's always hungry. I fucked it up. I just read it. Yeah, she... she my bad. Shaman is a Snickers... She's not her when she's hungry. That's my bad. I fucked that up. Because I was just like, eh, kind of a Snickers. But like, wait a second. I was supposed to use Snickers already. So that's totally my fuck up. And Winter, thank you for that follow. And welcome to the horde there, my guy. Um, So Tiandi... Tiandi's very dancey while we start the video. No, we'll leave it in there. Fuck it. You know I don't edit videos. We just take out the snippet and we're good to go. Um, Tiandi as a Halloween candy. I would say Tiandi is a very, like... Uh, we do it live. Yep, exactly. I would say Tiandi is more along the lines of, like... There are a lot of people that love him. Just is in your face all the time. He's very, very dodgy. And like, I would say Tiandi is your airhead. I would say Tiandi is your airhead. 
like everyone can play Tiandi, but like it's not your go-to candy, except for some people who really, really love them. That's what I would say. JJ. JJ is pretty basic, but he's really, really good. I would give JJ the candy. I would give him a Hershey kiss. Like he's not, it's not horrible that you find him in your bag, but it's always like, Hey, you know what? I want a little bit of chocolate. I'll knock it out really fast with a kiss. Like, yeah, I'd give him a Hershey kiss. Not like that. I'd give him the candy Hershey kiss. Ooh. I would give for Shaolin. I would give Shaolin. Hmm. Just because Shaolin can be kind of silly. I was thinking that exactly, Spruce. Thinking that Shaolin's silly plus his, like, really long stick, I would give him gummy worms. Yeah. 100% I would give him a gummy worm. Mm-hmm. So, Nusha. Oof. Nusha with her double blades... Not a lot of people like Nusha. But I love her, so I would give her a candy that I would like that not a lot of people like. And this will probably be very controversial with my choice and because I said that, because it's a candy that I like that not a lot of people do. Even though it's not like a trap, it kind of is for some people. I would give Nusha dots. Just a box of dots. That's what I would give her. Jean Hu. Jean Hu is again very dodgy. Um he's very easy to use, kind of hard to master. Draw dots you draw <laughs> trap your draw close. I love him though. So any like I'm a big gummy fan. Any gummies I'm like super happy for, man. You give me gummies during Halloween, I'm happy as fuck. That's something you seek out when you always go, oh, hey, when you see it for a Toblerone for a Sean Who. I can kind of see it. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Yeah, I would give Fashan Hu a Toblerone. Okay, so now I'm going to skip. You know what? No, we're just going to go to Pirate. Pirate is a very, very good hero. A hero that a lot of people are kind of like, you know, it's really easy to use. Kind of hard to like love because you're you like to use it on people you don't like to use it against other like you don't like it being used against you. And just because pirate is the way that she is, no, she's not cotton candy. She is the most obvious fucking candy. I would say she's the three musketeers. 
I was holding off on that for a while. She's the three musketeers. Nah, gum is, the gum is shinobi. Gum is shinobi. Like, very basic white bitch. I would say. Oh, what's up there, Greedly? Give me one second. We're almost done with this. I'm sorry you missed out on the video. Um, so from Meje. Meje is 100% a Kit Kat. Break me off a piece of that accents. Can't kind of, you can't put them back together, but I mean, Meje is Meje. Meje is a Kit Kat, 100%. Meje is a Kit Kat. Ocelot. Ocelot is, I would say Ocelot, that Ocelot is going to be your warhead. 100% a warhead. Just all up in your shit, trying to punch you in the mouth all the time and trying to just fuck your day up. Warhead. Now, Afira. Ooh. Afira's kind of basic in her moveset. But she's really good everywhere else. I would give Afira a peanut m, m Just like basic from an outlook, but when you bite into it, it's like, ooh, there's something else in here. Ooh. I would say Afira's a peanut m, &M. And that would be my tier list. And you know what? We might as well end it off properly. And if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe and... Come join us on Twitch where we did this live.